They did try to do Jones and Gustafson. And yes, Jones was the skunk at the garden party that said, I need more time. I don't care about fighting in New York in my hometown. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't even care about Gustafson. I'll do the whole thing, but I won't do it on that date. Okay. Another source came out and said they tried to get Daniel Cormier versus John Jones together at heavyweight. Heavyweight, which I think is important. I think if those guys are going to fight again, it needs to be at heavyweight. I've got my own reasons for that, but I think I'm right. I think I'd win you over. And I don't think Daniel's ever returning to light heavyweight, so they wanted to do it at heavyweight, and I don't know what came in the way of that. I don't know who's who was to blame for that. Look, if Jones wasn't going to fight Gus on that date, if Jones just didn't like that date, then he wasn't going to fight Daniel either. The other side did very much impress me. Well, what did Daniel say when that phone call came in? Yeah, that's a huge fight. Daniel has said, I'm looking for money fights, but he's also said, I don't like that son of a bitch, John Jones. So uh, I think that maybe it would come together. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Brock Lesnar. He's got the big money fight coming up. Very early 2019 with Brock Lesnar. Would he risk it? Would he sacrifice it? Would he walk away from it all for one more crack at John Jones? Be a huge payday. Mathematically, it might all work out. I don't like talking about the money. I don't like when people do that. I don't like where that narrative goes. The reason I offer you guys that is Daniel's been pretty open to go, look, I've never done this in my career, but I'm approaching 40 years old. I've won every damn thing you can win in every weight class that the scale says I belong in. I'm going to go after some big fights right now that people want to see, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to kind of change how I look at this. So I think that you would satisfy those qualities with Daniel. I think you've got the big fight. I think you give him his sworn enemy, his sworn rival. I think you give it to him at the appropriate weight class at the appropriate time, coming off of USADA, right? We saw the last time that John's came, uh, John Jones came through an USADA mess. It was the only time we ever saw him fight that clean, and it was against OSP. And it was the single worst performance of John's career. With that said, John Jones won every single round and left there with a title. It's not an insult on John, but it's the single worst performance that we've ever seen from John Jones. And it, it, the eye test was real simple. He gets to the check-in center, he takes his t-shirt off to put his mouthpiece in and his, his Vaseline on, and you go, ooh, that guy's, uh, that guy's off the candy. It was pretty obvious. He didn't love how that performance wins. He also thought, wow, that was my worst performance, and that was a lot harder fight with a guy than it should have been. I'm going back to the candy store. If history is to repeat itself, for as ever, however long it is he, he, he can stay as straight as he can stay, getting him on his next fight would make a lot of sense. Getting him at heavyweight, I think, is an interesting storyline. And getting him back in there with Dan, I think it's fun. I think it's fun. And as much as these seem to anybody to be beat John over the head sessions, they're not. Look, John's in a bit of a storm right now. If you're going to tell a, tori, uh, tell a story about John, how many of these stories do you think are going to come out really great right now? How many stories can you tell in the present time about John Jones that don't sound a lot like what I'm saying? There's really none. But I'll be very fair to tell you they are separate entities. You're looking at two different things here. John's issue with USADA, but then John coming back and competing. They are separate things. So as big of a jerk as I may sound when I tell the John Jones stories, I'm just telling the stories that are going on there about John right now, but there is another side to it.